This tutorial will show you the core basics of using Unreal Editor 2.0 to make a map for Unreal Tournament 99 or any game derived from the same engine. Let's first talk about the camera movement. Uh, by pressing and holding your left mouse button you will be able to move around. By pressing the right mouse button you can do exactly the same. And by pressing both mouse buttons and holding them you can zoom in you can zoom out, and you can zoom back in again. The front view viewport works exactly the same as does the side viewport. In the 3D viewport, click your left mouse button and hold it down to move forwards, backwards, and to turn your camera around. This way you can move in the horizontal plane. By pressing and holding your right mouse button, you can look around and change the angle at which you're watching. By pressing both mouse buttons, you will be able to move up, down, left, or right. Now let's get started on the map itself. Uh, Right-click your cube button, which is this one. The cube builder should appear. Enter a height of 512 a width of 1024 mm. and a breadth of 1024. Then click build. A red cube should appear in all four viewports. You can click away the cube builder if you want to. Um, do note that, that, that this cube is not added to your map yet. Let's do that right away. Click subtract, which is this button. Do not click add that will go horribly wrong. Um, you now have a subtracted cube in the middle of a big ocean of nothingness. Now move your camera into the cube itself in the 3D viewport. Uh, you can highlight the surfaces by clicking on them and let's give them a texture right now. Open your texture browser by clicking the button which looks like a painting. This one. Then uh, click open package this button. Scroll to the right and select chain church. Open it. Highlight the surface and give it the texture brown block. By holding control, you can select multiple surfaces. Using this, give all your f give all four walls the texture brown block. In the same way, give your floor the texture brown floor, and give the ceiling boards one. To play the map, you need somewhere to spawn. Um, to do that, go to your Act Glass browser by clicking this pawn this one and go from actor to navigation point select player start now go to your 3d viewport right click on the floor and select add player start here then rebuild the geometry by clicking this button and then select play map. Welcome back. Uh, as you have noticed, um, the map is in unlit mode, meaning that the entire map is devoid of any form of ambience. And let's fix that right away. Right click a cube button again to make a new cube. Enter a height of 32 and a width and a breadth of 64. Click build and you should see a red cube hovering in the middle of your cube you subtracted earlier. Go to your front or side viewport, hold down control and move your mouse up. Do this until the cube aligns with the top of your first cube, like so. 
then click add. You can rebuild the geometry and see what you've done. I won't. Now go to your texture browser again. Uh, open the package crypt2.utx. Go to the group lighting, group light, and give it the texture C light BTM. Do this for all five surfaces. You can rebuild the geometry and see what you have done now. I again won't. Um, now let's uh, add the light itself. Right click on the uh, bottom surface and select add light here. Left click on the light which is the torch like icon and center it uh, right in the cube. Um, so it is hovering in the center on the cube and give it a bit of clearance from the bottom. Now rebuild the lighting and you should see the map doused in a bit of white light. To change the color of our light to match the color of our light source, uh, right click the light and select light properties and go to the tab light color then press the button color here. Uh, go to the top left for the left for the red colors and move this arrow up and down for the bright for the uh, saturation. You can go for no, for zero saturation which means black which means no light at all. You can go for full saturation which means um, means white light as we have now you can go for a little bit of saturation for a pinkish light I like the more gloomy effect so I'll opt for a dark red and press OK you should immediately see the light change rebuild the geometry and rebuild the lighting and play your map